Welcome to hula hoop class. That's not a real thing, Rachel. Fine, then let's go check out some real classes. Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Scola. We're in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're checking out Karis Academy Elementary. Come follow me, let's see what's inside. We are here with Mr. Weekly. He is principal here at Chorus Academy Elementary. Thank you so much for having us today. Oh, absolutely, thank you for coming. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the mission here at the school? So here at Chorus, our mission is to provide a quality education with a clear moral direction. Uh, we utilize our challenging curriculums and after school activities for that. And can you tell us a little bit more about the moral direction that you mentioned? So the, the moral direction each and every day, we're gonna talk to our kids about being a kind human. Um, it's circled around our responsive classroom and our CARES approach. Um, our goal each and every day is to make sure when these students step into the building, they leave here a better student and a better person and a better member of a community. So not just focusing on academics, but also just helping them be a, a well-rounded person for outside of the classroom too. Exactly, making sure we're teaching to the individual yeah. as well. Um, like I said, we're creating you know good humans. Yeah, I love that, good humans. <laughs> And what are the three things that you feel like really help your school stand apart or are special? I think the, the first thing is gonna be our, our community, at, which is centered around the responsive classroom and cares. Um, so it's gonna start with those three greetings. You know, you're going to, when you pull up in Carlin, you're gonna see an employee opening the door for Aww. your kids. You're gonna see them when they go to the classroom, they're gonna greet their teacher at the front door. It's with a handshake, it might be with a hug. Mm -hmm. And then we get into morning meeting, the, those first 15 minutes where they might have a, a share out where they might have an opportunity to, to chat with a partner. And it always starts with those, with those greetings and they're very meaningful um, each and every day. Really helping them feel social and loved. And what are, what are the cares that you mentioned? So cares, it's going to be um, cooperation for uh -huh. the C, assertion for the A, R is respect and responsibility, E is empathy, uh -huh. and S is self-control, um, which is something we preach daily. And then it's um, culminated every Friday um, at our whole school meeting where we hand out CARES awards for oh, how cool. um, those specific um, letters that we're looking for. So you highlight students that you see throughout the week or month that have kind of exemplified those things? Exactly. It's, it's a weekly oh, um, cool. meeting, whole school meeting. Okay. So every week um, the students know that teachers are looking for the CARES. They're looking for you to display self-control in, in your line. Um, they're looking for empathy. Do you help you know, a peer that might be struggling that day. And then we take the opportunity on Friday where um, the whole school is in the gymnasium and we honor them for um, their cares. That's an awesome way of doing like positive reinforcement for the kids too, that's great. I think the second thing is is our families and the involvement that they take in the students' learning. Um, the ability that they have to be a part of their educational process is something we really encourage. Um, we encourage them to come on campus and, and volunteer and help. Um, and, and they truly are amazing, um, whether that's hosting our, our movie nights or being chaperones for, for dances. Um, we really create that sense of um, community and, and family mm -hmm. um, with, our, with our students and their, and their parents and guardians. I'm sure it helps the parents feel really involved when they get to be a part of not only, obviously, their home life, but also their school life. With their kids exactly and it's something they take pride in and um, you know it's something that we have them reaching out and feeling hey how can I be involved and yeah. our front office is amazing of, of providing them opportunities to, to be a part of you know Cars Academy and lastly what is the third thing that you feel helps your school feel unique and special uh, the third thing is going to be our, our curriculums and after-school activities that okay. that we provide for um, for our kids. This year we um, did an update for our ELA curriculum and math curriculum. We wanted to make sure we have the top tier curriculums to provide to, to our students. And then now we are reintroducing our clubs back. Oh, cool. So the, the ability to have kids on campus you know, more often and longer um, has been really great for us. And can you tell us a little bit more about the clubs that you guys offer after school? So um, some of the clubs that we offer after school are gonna be our sports club, um, which is run by our PE teacher. Um, they'll do things right now, they're doing uh, flag football. They'll oh, move fun. to basketball, volleyball, yeah. and, and um, softball in the spring. We offer some of our, our STEM-related um, clubs like Lego Club. Um, oh, how fun. Yeah, That's it's, cool. it's, it's a really cool activity. The kids love it. It's one of our most popular clubs. Yeah. Um, and then we have done uh, choir in the past. We okay. did choir last year, and we're looking to start that back up in the spring with a, with a big performance. Very cool. 
cool. Do you get a lot of student involvement with those after school programs? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, roughly, there's going to be 25 to 30 kids awesome. in each one of those clubs. And we try to cap it. Yeah. Um, just because <laughs> there's only so many people we can fit into a classroom. Right. But um, it is something that our parents and kids really look forward to and partaking in. And what is the learning and teaching style at your school? So Cars Academy started out with uh, some Montessori um, okay. roots. Um, we've kind of blended that into some traditional teachings as well. Um, so, but our big focus is teaching to the individual student, um, finding out what they need and then teaching to that need for, for the students. Um, we've been very successful in that. And we've been able to see growth um, just in the two years that, that I've been here. Very cool. Do you feel like the, the teachers have a pretty good grip on how to teach to each individual child's needs? Absolutely. And I think because of our small class sizes, um, that is what really helps them individualize their, their education. Um, and our teachers know that and they teach mm -hmm. to that. Um, so I think we've been very successful in that. Small class size, I feel like, is super helpful as opposed to, you know, where you feel like you're just another face in the classroom. Exactly, and I think that's what, what, what is a draw for Cars Academy is we do keep those small class sizes um, for the students. Um, right now, when we look at some of our classes, you know, 15 yeah. to 1, or even a little bit um, in our kindergarten classes where we have a, a full-time paraeducator in there, mm -hmm. um, it's really 10 to 1. Oh, that's great. Um, so it's a really great experience for the student and for the families. And can you tell us a little bit more about the community and the campus here? So the community here in, um, in Phoenix, um, North Phoenix and Anthem, is uh, a very well-oiled machine. Everyone really works together. They want to be involved. So the partnerships that we develop with our community, bringing them in, whether it's bringing in, you know, Phoenix PD, the Anthem Fire Station, they come in oh, and we want to be, they want to be a part of the school and we want yeah. them to be a part of the school. Um, and that's the type of community that, that we've created here at CARS that everyone's involved we you know one hand feeds the other and you know how can we support each other um, up here in Anthem. Very neat. Is there anything specific to your campus that you really like or a place that you enjoy being on campus? You know I, I love our campus I love that it's it is small we are small but, yeah. but powerful um, you know each and every one of our classrooms is unique I think I love every one of our teachers classrooms and um, as you guys, as we walk through and you, and you pop into them, you mm -hmm. see each one is unique. Each one is special. Um, and, I, and I love that about our staff and about our school. They personalize their classrooms. Absolutely. Yeah. And we even personalize our floor. When you see, I did see that walking through. There was a whole like hopscotch area. Yep, those are our sensory pads and our, our, we were able to, to um, put them down the entire length of the K3 hallway, oh. which is something we're, we're super happy about. And they about. actually can like use those as they walk through the hallways? They do. I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> And lastly, Mr. Weekly, can you tell the parents where they can find more information on the school? Absolutely. You could find information on our school at carsacademy.org. Um, on there, it'll have our links to our other um, social medias. We have our Instagram, our TikTok, um, oh, our fun. Facebook pages. <laughs> um, we try to make sure that we're, we're posting consistently on, on social media. Staying our, connected. Absolutely. And our parents have, love it. Good. They love, it. they love being a part of it. Great. And you can also find more information on Scola.com. Thank you so much for having us, and we will see you guys at the next video. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap here at Karis Academy Elementary. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow us to the next school.